how do you know the lengths of the edges that aren't labeled? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify missing edge lengths on composite 3D prisms by locating parallel edges. Let's begin with a basic example. Let's look at a rectangle. I see right here that I have a vertical side length of 30. And what I know about rectangles is that the parallel sides are congruent. That 60 meter horizontal side has a parallel side that is also 60 meters. In other words, parallel sides of rectangles are the same length. This will be true of rectangular prisms also, but we have edges on rectangular prisms. Here is a 30 meter edge. I'm going to highlight in red the edges that run parallel to it. As you can see, all of the red edges are congruent. They are all 30 meters. Same goes for this 10 meter edge. All of the edges running parallel to it are 10 meters. And of course, that is true for this 70 meter edge. The edges you see in blue, which are parallel to it, are also 70 meters. So let's begin um, by identifying some parallel sides. Here we have a 7 meter side highlighted in red. As you can see, this 4 meter side is parallel to it. And another side, which is unlabeled, um, runs parallel to both of those lines. I want to figure out the length of the orange side. Now one interesting thing I notice is that there's a rectangle sitting right there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over this red side length, this red segment of 4 meters, and I can see that the, the two parallel sides on that rectangle that's now shaded in green, those must be congruent. So what that means is that this little mysterious orange line segment has to be 3 meters, because 3 meters plus 4 meters will add up to 7. And I know that that side of the rectangle must be 7 meters. Let's do the same thing with the missing horizontal line segment. I'm going to highlight all the horizontal lines. Uh, I've got one 9 meter line segment, one 4 meter line segment, and then this mystery line segment highlighted in green. Uh, I'm going to observe that there is a rectangle right there. I'm going to slide that line segment down, uh, and I know that that line segment is 4 meters. Then I've got my mystery line segment, but I know that the mystery segment and the 4 meter segment add up to 9. So I can conclude that that mystery line segment is 5 meters. Uh, in other words, even when we're dealing with composite figures, parallel sides offer us a lot of really good clues. Okay, our final example. We have a 3D figure, but it is composite. It's made up of two rectangular prisms. I'm going to start out by jotting down the information I do know onto uh, the prisms that I've sort of broken apart. I've got the blue prism and the green prism. I see that the blue prism has a length, a width, and a height of 2 inches, 4 inches, and 2 inches. I see that the green prism has uh, one edge length of 2 inches. I don't really know anything else about it. Um, I want to figure out this edge and this edge. Okay, let's start out, let's try to figure out the red edge. So I'm going to label, I'm going to highlight rather, the vertical edges on this figure. Okay, I know that the long purple edge is 5 inches. Uh, I can perhaps see a rectangle if I imagine it um, by sliding this segment over. Okay, 2 inches plus however long that red line segment is need to add up to 5, so I know that the red segment is 3 inches. And I'm going to label that on both sides and also over on my, on my prism to the right. Okay, next I want to figure out my other missing edge length. Um, and I know that all of those yellow segments, yellow edges, are parallel to each other. Um, so that one is pretty simple. I know then that the missing edge length right there is 2 inches. In this lesson, you have learned how to identify missing edge lengths on composite 3D prisms by locating parallel edges.